Hi, I'm Graphic X. Going to do a bit of a commentary today of a new game mode I've discovered called Drop Zone. It's a, a new game mode, as I say, that can be found under the community playlists. It's objective based, but it's very different to your usual objective modes in Call of Duty, where you've actually got to stay on the objective the whole time in order to get any points. You can't just sort of hover around the outside and get a score for it. I think this is my third game playing Drop Zone. I'm pretty lost as to what you're meant to do on it. I know standing on the red smoke gets points, and um, which leads to winning the game, but you get these care packages that fall from the sky, and it's almost like little gifts from the gods that just randomly appear everywhere. You um, don't seem to get them through killing, and you don't seem to get them through standing on the obje objective. I'm not quite sure what you need to do in order to get them. If um, someone does, please leave a comment because it would yeah, greatly help me. Um, e even still, we just found some, some bulletproof vests on the ground there. Just randomly left by um, was it Azza678 from 6A. He's um, with me and a party of FB guys just testing out this new mode. There he is there running off to the left. Um, here's, here's another drop zone just running in there getting some points and massive fail with trying to get a sentry out in order to defend that area. The, um, as I say, the mode's very different. You um, need to stay on it the whole time. Getting kills and things, they, they certainly help the team, but nowhere near as much as they would in a Domination or a HQ. It's these people that lay down on the objective and wear a few frags and cop a lot of deaths that seem to win the um, the game for you. So it sort of it, it puts me out of my usual um, comfort zone with my play style, but um, it, it's really enjoyable. There's a as you can see, there's a fair bit of lag here. I, I pump the shit out of these guys and then clean them up with a pistol after putting 30 rounds of my AK at them. So it, it's taken from the file show. Everything looks pretty out of sync and I'm shooting a long way behind them, but it's still getting me killed, so it's not as bad as it has been for me. Sort of starting to run a little bit low on on uh, with ammo on my AK here, so I might have to go and grab the guns from these guys. Uh, and as usual, they haven't dropped any for me, which is typical of Modern Warfare 3. So we're just going to go on the prowl a bit here and look for a new gun. And this guy, of course, has got a shotgun, which seems to be the usual thing for the scrub players. Just, um, you know, basically get a real gun, dickhead, and you wouldn't get shot by it. I I'm still lost as to why they place weapons like this in Call of Duty because they can't be enjoyable for the person using them, they're certainly not enjoyable for the person being shot by them, it's just sort of bullshitting people with their kills, so back to the AK, we're using an AK-47 with no attachments, no proficiency, sort of comp style getting used to it in a pub game. Yet another assist there. It's not, not a great deal happening around the objective here, everyone's sort of spread out, it's spawned a long way from where we are. When we get over there, we'll be able to find some dudes. Here's that shotgun guy again. And the old lucky nade over the top. Basically, up the top, you'll see it says there's three guys on the flag. Now there's only one, which is quite nice to know how many people are on the objective and how, who you've got to take out. Not real competitive, but it's good for pub gaming. And a nice big spray to finish off without getting a kill. See, so that's the, um, the latest game mode that we're playing over at FV on Modern Warfare 3. Um, if you're sort of loose, then come jump in our parties and jump in on this new game mode. Uh, and here's Dutchie finishing off for us. Obviously doing a red dot challenge with his AK there. The buddy recoil that adds to the gun is just horrendous, but he's still cleaned up with it. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for possibly more commentaries or not. Thanks. Bye.